In this video, we're going to look at how to apply the chain rule to differentiate some basic transcendental functions. The chain rule is useful for differentiating more complex composite functions, and it states that dy on dx can be decomposed into dy on du times du on dx. So let's look at how we can apply this. Starting with our first example, we've got the function y is equal to e to the power of 2x plus 1. We're going to define u being equal to 2x plus 1, so that y can be written as e to the power of u. From there, du on dx is 2, dy on du is equal to e to the power of u. Then applying the chain rule, dy on dx, which is equal to dy on du times du on dx. This will be equal to e to the u times 2, which is equal to 2 times e to the u, and then subbing it back in, we're going to get 2 times e to the power of 2x plus 1. For our second example, we've got y is equal to e to the power of x squared plus 2x plus 3. We're going to let u equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. y can then be written as e to the u. From here, du on dx is equal to 2x plus 2. dy on du is equal to e to the u. Again, applying the chain rule, dy on dx is equal to dy on du times du on dx. And this simplifies to e to the u times 2x plus 2. We can simplify this, factorizing out the 2, we get 2 times x plus 1, replace the u with our definition of x squared plus 2x plus 3. So we get dy on dx is equal to 2 times x plus 1 times e to the power of x squared plus 2x plus 3. For our next example, we're going to be differentiating the trigonometric functions. For the first one, we've got y is equal to 2 times sine squared x. We're going to let u equal to sine x, so that y can be written as 2 times u squared. From here, du on dx is equal to cos x, dy on du is equal to 4u. Then we apply the chain rule dy on dx is equal to dy on du times du on dx. This is going to be 4u times cos x. Then replacing the u with sine x, this then evaluates to 4 sine x cos x. The next one, we've got y is equal to cos x squared plus 1. This time, we're going to let u equal to x squared plus 1 so that y is equal to cos u. From here, du on dx is equal to 2x, dy on du is equal to negative sine u. Then applying the chain rule, dy on dx, which is equal to dy on du times du on dx, this will be equal to negative sine u times 2x. We then replace the u with our definition of x squared plus 1, and this simplifies to negative 2x sine x squared plus 1. Our next example, we've got y is equal to log of x squared plus 1. We begin by letting u equal to x squared plus 1, so that y is equal to log of u. Then du on dx is equal to 2x, and dy on du is equal to 1 on u. We then apply the chain rule, dy on dx is equal to dy on du times du on dx, and this is going to be equal to 1 over u times 2x. We then replace the u with x squared plus 1, and this simplifies to 2x over x squared plus 1. Our last example, we've got y is equal to e to the power of cos x squared plus 1. This one involves two iterations of the chain rule. Let's start by letting v equal to x squared plus 1. We then can write cos x squared plus 1 as u is equal to cos of v. 
and y can then be written as e to the power of u. From here, we begin by differentiating v with respect to x, so that we get dv on dx is equal to 2x. Then du on dv is equal to negative sine v. Then dy on du is equal to e to the u. Then we can write dy on dx as being equal to dy on du times du on dv times dv on dx. And summing all these in, we get e to the u times negative sine v times 2x. And of course, we're going to replace the u and the v and express it in terms of x so that we're going to get e to the power of cos x squared plus 1 times negative sine x squared plus 1 times 2x. And all of this simplifies to negative 2x sine x squared plus 1 times e to the power of cos x squared plus 1. Thanks for watching everyone. If you would like more videos on these topics or any other topics, please take a look at our channel. We're constantly making maths videos across various topics, so please help us by subscribing. We hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now.